changing things up this episode. I have a pencil. I've always done my scorecard in pen. I'm going to use a pencil for this one. Just this one, though, because if I don't, then I won't know what day is what. So, I guess I could use colored pencils. I'm already using colored pens, though. Anyway, I'm overthinking everything as usual. It's Spot of Saturday, part two of our Spot of Friday new music playlist. Oh, yes, indeed. Week 18 since I started doing this. And even though I still have a job again, I'm still doing this because I still enjoy it. And my double dozen subscribers, I'm sure, also occasionally enjoy it. Let's start things off with Jimmy Somewhere and a little Bottle Rocket. This song's pretty good. But you know what song's even better? There's a band in the 90s called the Bottle Rockets and they had a song called I'll Be Coming Around and they're knocking your back door down. Played it on the station back in the day. It was a good one. I had a request for that one long after it done its chart thing. Up next, Fushi and the Deep End. It's kind of interesting. Chorus hits a little differently than I was expecting. I like it. That's pretty good. Up next is Coffee with a K and Pressure with a P. It's okay. It's not as good as I was hoping, but it's okay. Up next is Muwap with Gucci Mane from Mulatto. This one's really being positioned to be Mulatto's breakthrough song, and yeah, probably will be. It's pretty good. Up next is Kadron Bryant with Andre Day and Lucky Day and I Just Want to Live. Yeah, cover of the old song by Good Charlotte. It's pretty good. Also, it's a very striking cover with a young young African-American, say, teen, young teenager and a cop kneeling in front of him. Kind of powerful. Up next, MX Tune, MX, MXM Tune, and a song called Bon Iver. This is way better of a song than a song called Bon Iver has any right to be. This is actually really good. I like it a lot. Up next, Y2K and JoJo with Damage is Done. And JoJo isn't having much luck on her own getting back on the charts, but with Y2K, she has a shot here. This is really good. But another one in the good file. A lot of good ones so far this week, at least on this episode. Actually, OK and good. Good just pulled ahead of OK. Up next, Snake Hips with Jess Glynn and Lie for You. Also, it has a boogie with the hoodie. Ah, the old too many cooks in the kitchen problem, or in this case, too many people on this song it's none of them really have any room to really just stretch out up next the rapper russ who seems to be on this list every week and the track still the name and the constant wearing me down is working this is pretty good up next nessa barrett and pain the song is kind of but the artist makes me so We'll see. We'll keep it. This one to keep an eye on. I'm next. Brandy from the album B7 and Borderline. You remaking a Madonna song? It's not a remake of a Madonna song. It's okay. I was thinking the other day about how, with certain artists, there's a favorite song you have when you're a teenager. Now that you're older, your favorite song is completely different. I mean, my favorite Madonna song when I was a kid was "Like a Virgin" or "Material Girl." But now that I'm older, it's probably borderline. I might do a TikTok about that, I don't know. Up next, this one has uh, me very interested. It's Tyler Childers, but he's got Ricky Skaggs and Larry Cordy on a cover of Highway 40 Blues. I do enjoy Tyler Childers and Ricky Skaggs. He's a great bluesgrass player. And this is pretty good. In fact, I'm going to call this great. This is a really good cover. It's faithful, but it still kind of makes it his own. Up next, Glass Animals, and it's also incredibly loud. Glass Animals is one of those groups that when they're good, they're great. When they're not on their best game, they're very take it or leave it. This is a very leave it song. Up next, Make Me Feel... Excuse me. <laughs> I'm yawning for me. Make Me Feel, featuring Rick Ross from Skip Marley. Uh, we're back in the OK files. Up next, A.K. Paul, Be Honest. Sonically, this is very interesting. But they don't really... They have some very interesting ideas with the sonic, uh, the instrumentation, but they don't really do anything with it that makes it interesting. Up next, Gashi with Lies. This is kind of a... This sounds like a song that could have been used on Miami Vice. I mean that in a good way. Up next, Baby Jake with Head in the Clouds. Uh, I don't think you quite left the ground with this one. Up next, Bryce Fine. And his cover of Poison's Life Goes On. 
it's just it's not a cover of Poison. That song is just okay, but getting back to Poison's life goes on. That's that's the weird Poison song where it's like, no other Poison song really hits me in the feels, but that one does, and it wasn't a huge hit for them. But for some reason, I hear that one, and it just I don't know, it hits me in the feels every time. Up next, Amy Allen and Difficult. Okay. This one changes up a little bit during the song. I like that a lot. It's good. Up next, Bunt and Clarence Coffee Jr. with Unbreakable. <sighs> Who sang that song? It's like, I'm gonna make this world your home. It was a big hit, like, three, four years ago, maybe. Now this song sounds like it. It's okay. Up next, uh, Yandel with J Balvin and Noti Vias. The song's okay, but props to Yandel on the cover of this album. He looks like somebody who had appeared in one episode of the show Lazy Town. Up next, Black Boy JB. I do what I do. Ooh, somebody's dusted off their Da Baby impersonation, and it's pretty good. The song is just okay, but you know, pretty good impersonation of Da Baby. Up next, Doors Unlocked with Ty Dolla Sign by Murder Beats. Excuse me, Murder Beats. To see, mediocre. Up next, an artist who I heavily doubt will be mediocre. He's one of those love him or hate him guys. The JPEG Mafia with Living Single. Okay, I listened to JPEG Mafia's last album. And I was fully expecting there to be some incredible weirdness on this track. And there wasn't. This song is the equivalent of that Will Ferrell, Kristen Wiig Hallmark movie. Where, if you know who Will Ferrell and Kristen Wiig are... You're watching this serious movie, but you keep thinking in the back of your mind, there's going to be a joke. There's The punchline's coming. It's got to be coming up. There's got to be a punchline coming up. They can't play it serious through the whole movie. And they do. You get to the end, and there's no punchline. Ah, uh, it's just... You, you should have known there wasn't going to be, but at the same time, you're watching a movie with Will Ferrell and Kristen Wiig, and you just think to yourself, at some point, there's got to be something funny in this movie. Even just a throwaway joke or something, but no, it's serious through the whole thing. So, and this is the Sonic equivalent of that from JPEG Mafia because he usually does some crazy, crazy stuff. But the song is very, very not. Up next, uh, let's close out the day with Travis Barker and Run the Jewels. I believe this is a Travis Barker song, even, and forever. Is there anything Run the Jewels can't do? They actually made me put a song in the great section, and it's a Travis Barker song. And I've got no love for Travis Barker. He's fine. It's a long story. But yeah, it's pretty good. But of course, you know, it's a Travis Barker song, so the drums are turned up a little louder than usual. But RTJ makes you not even notice. So we'll call it good, and we'll call it good for uh, Saturday. We'll have a cassette for you tomorrow that uh, I don't think you'll see coming. And we'll be back again on Monday.